All right, what's up guys, welcome back. We're gonna be doing an oil change on an HHR. And you actually don't even need that much. I mean, a, f a five quart gallon and your oil filter. That's how simple it is. So this is possibly the cheapest oil change I ever had to do. So it asked for five quarts for the HHR for the Ecotech. So we're going to be filling it up with full synthetic 5W30. And this was $23. Oil filter, five bucks. Maybe six. All right, first thing you want to do is set up some ramps, or you can use a jack and a jack stand, but I like ramps for oil changes just because it gives you plenty of space and it's a little bit easier to work with. After you pop your hood, you want to locate where your oil fill cap is. All right, trying 14. That's still not big enough. That's interesting. I brought a 15 just in case. And that's the money. Yeah. So, you know, loosen this up. It shouldn't take much strength at all. So what we're going to do is I'm going to position this in a way so that when we remove this bolt, it's going to drain right in that pan. And when we have it almost out, what we want to do is we want to keep pressure. See how I have my finger pushing up against it, but while twisting it, so it just doesn't fly out. Um, we want to make sure we find our end, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release, presto. And then what you do is you just wait under here, and you just wait until it stops pouring out. Crack open a beer, do whatever you want to do. I mean, while you're under the vehicle, you might as well check other things. Like, is it leaking anywhere? Is anything going on here? Let's check these motor mounts. Some cracking it looks like from on the motor mounts. So these are pretty worn. They could probably use a change in the future. All right, and then when it's done dripping or pouring out, I'm gonna tighten this back on. Wa-blam. Take your socket wrench. Give it a nice quarter turn. That's nice and tight on there. And then wipe that up and then get over to the oil filter. All right, let me introduce you my contraption. Half inch drive, eight inch extension, down to a swivel joint, down to a 32 millimeter socket. That's a little bit on the short end. This part right here is gonna cause a lot of conflict with trying to get you on that socket or that socket onto that top of the oil filter cap or cover rather. So just be mindful. And then once you break it loose, because as you're loosening it up, it's going to raise. And then this area right here is going to just cause more conflict, right? So once you break it loose, you should be able to turn this by hand. And, uh, wow. All right, make sure you take your old O-ring seal out. I got a new one right here. About to go in uh, over this. And then just simply grab your new filter. Pop that on there. Jesus. Put this in the hole. All right, once that's back on, now it's time to fill up the oil. All right, make sure you uncap and unseal your oil container. You have your uh, funnel ready. You just want to slowly start the pour, just so it's a little bit easier to carry than do kind of like a sideways pour. I'll show you here in a second. oil cap in the way. Hold on. Oh, now you see how it rises? You want to kind of stop or slow your pour so that way you can catch up and you're not spilling over. All right, and although used oil is in the empty container, it looks like we are at four, a little less than four quarts, which means that we were a quart down. And then of course you want to do your oil life reset. So what you want to do is stick your key in the on position without starting the vehicle. Then, with the gas pedal, you want to depress or press and depress uh, three times. So, fully depress one, two, three, shut it off. Turn that sucker on oil life 100 percent so it is reset now 
So with that said, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. You know what to do. See you on the next one.